Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a game that not many people know about, and this is a game that is being developed by a studio that was created by an ex-boss at Rockstar Games and one of the main people who created the Grand Theft Auto series. Leslie Benzies is one of the original employees at Rockstar Games and one of the main creators of the GTA series, and a couple of years ago he left Rockstar Games to start his own development company, and ever since then they've been working on a really awesome open world game that is going to rival the GTA series. So today we're going to be discussing what this game is, when we can expect it, and everything you need to know about it. Now before we get into that, make sure to drop a like rating on this video to show your support, as well as subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shoutout of the day, and right out went to the actual video. Now today's shoutout goes to a really awesome book known as A Notebook of Love, My Story on Mental Health by Luis Trevino. Now Luis is a US Army war veteran, and his wife are separated and about to divorce after 14 years of marriage. In the initial three chapters, the author explains his struggle with various mental health illnesses after he was separated from his wife after a long marriage. He also goes down memory lane, speaks about his childhood, his parents, and other journeys throughout his life. What I think is most interesting about this book is that the author speaks about all of these events from first-hand experiences. He shares his own thoughts, emotions, point of view, and experiences of his life and journey to give readers a complete image of who he was and what he turned into today. Make sure to click the first link in the description down below to check out the official website for the book or purchase the ebook directly on Goodreads. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So as we all know, the GTA series is of course one of the most successful video game franchises in the entire world. Now, one of the main aspects of the GTA series that virtually no one has been able to copy and perfect is the open world aspect. There's been a lot of other open world games released over the years, however none are able to crack the magic that Rockstar created. Now Leslie Benzies was one of the original employees at Rockstar Games, and he crafted a lot of the main elements and the underlying features of the GTA series that we know and love now. Now Leslie was with the company for a long time, and he only left in 2019 for various reasons, some of which have been public and others not so much. Now shortly after leaving the company, Leslie announced that he is building his own video game development company from the ground up known as Build a Rocket Boy Games. Now I'm not sure what the exact story behind the name is, however I personally dig it and I think it is certainly unique. Now the first game that they are working on is a game known as Everywhere. We don't know whether that's going to be the official name of the game when it releases, but we do know that it has been officially announced that Everywhere is in production, and this is a game that they have been working on for a number of years now. In classic Rockstar fashion, this will be a massive open world game similar to the GTA series, but also to take place in a different universe. At the moment, we don't have any gameplay, screenshots, or really any other details to go off of. There have been some interviews with Leslie and other high-level executives at the company, however, so far, nothing concrete has been revealed. Nonetheless, we do know now that it will be an open-world game with a massive and extensive single-player campaign, as well as a massive online mode, and in addition to that, it is likely going to be a sci-fi-themed game instead of being really realistic like the GTA series. At the end of the day, it is probably not a good idea to spin off your own studio and then try to make your own GTA competitor, because after all, the GTA series is pretty much undefeated, and even someone like Leslie is probably going to have some difficulty competing directly with Rockstar. Instead, I think it's a much smarter idea to spin off the game into its own kind of universe. I think the idea of making it sci-fi themed instead of real life is a good idea, and after all, I think an open world sci-fi game is something that would be really fun to play, at least for myself. 
Besides having the game be a massive open world, it allegedly is also going to contain a number of other features, including user-generated content in a quote, virtual sandbox, players can create their own worlds in the game, as well as there will be deep social and streaming integrations. It is also worth noting that they do describe the game officially as a quote, open world AAA game. AAA games are of course the biggest of the biggest games out there, that is what the GTA series is considered. So everywhere is not going to be some little indie game, it is going to be a full-fledged AAA open world adventure from a brand new company, which is really exciting to see. One of the big things that is awesome about creating a game from a game company that has never done anything before is that you really have full creative control. Unlike Rockstar that kind of needs to live up to the hype of GTA 5 and to move over some elements from GTA 5 and GTA Online that people enjoy and like, Leslie Benzies and the team really have full creative control over what they want to do. If they want to change something radical in the game, they can totally go out of their way to do it and nothing is stopping them. So that level of creativity, in my opinion, is certainly going to foster quite a bit of awesome content within the game, and I cannot wait to see what they come up with. Now at the moment, there has not been any official screenshots or any kind of trailers for the game, either leaked or officially released, so there really isn't anything we can go off of in terms of the artistic style, but I cannot wait to see what they come up with. Now in terms of a release date, it's also a similar story where there has not been anything officially released or leaked so far. There has been some talk about the release date possibly coming out sometime in late 2022 and could be delayed into 2023, and that kind of sounds similar to what we've seen so far with GTA 6. So it's going to be interesting which of these games gets revealed first, whether it's going to be Everywhere or GTA 6, but I imagine that both companies are likely going to want to stagger their announcements out to make sure that each of them gets its own valuable press without overlapping each other. Now if you're interested in learning even more about this game and learning everything there is to Everywhere at the moment, I will leave a link to a really awesome article in the description down below that goes over all of these details, and I'll also leave a link to their official website which you can check out as well. But let me know your thoughts in those comments down below about what type of open world games do you prefer? Do you prefer open world games that are realistic, or do you prefer ones that are sci-fi and in the future? Myself personally, I do definitely prefer games that are based in reality, kind of like the GTA series, or pretty much exactly like the GTA series, but also I think that a game based in the future, if done correctly, and as long as it's not too crazy, will also be something that I would really be interested in and I would love to play. But let me know your thoughts and opinions in those comments down below because I really want to hear from you guys. But either way, if you enjoyed today's video and you like staying updated on the latest news surrounding GTA 5 and the GTA series in general, let me know by dropping a like rating on this video, as well as subscribe down below with those notifications on it so you're always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But either way, thank you again so much for tuning in today, I really do appreciate it, and I will see you tomorrow with another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day and I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.